a stretch here is pretty wide and it produced a fair amount of gold uh, for us. So. And then once it was sold, they got yeah quite a couple hundred ounces. I think we sit out of here. bit of a mistake to sell a claim, but so much gold. Well, a lot of claims have been kept working to keep getting more gold real wide. Well, I don't know, three claims stretch here or so, you know, so we got a chance to keep working and get, get a lot of gold. And we're coming up to what we call Antler Bar, the friends of ours who got these claims back in uh, 81, I think. Yeah, that's when the claims were legal, all the way to the forks. And there was some gold, uh, although it wasn't noted for having a lot of gold, but uh, our friends uh, did some panning one day, and in one pan they got a quarter ounce of gold. Um, you know, that's a special special spot gold kind of deposits in. Uh, that's not something you could expect to do uh, time and time again. It just happened. And, good for you. Now, uh, further down this claim, they uh, leased it out to uh, one of the fellows that was uh, dredging on one of the TV channels here the last so many years up in Nome, right? Uh, and he worked here when he was really young, back in the 80s. So you're talking 40-some years ago. And uh, anyway, they, they got close to 90-some ounces somewhere down here. Uh, between here and the forks. It's only a few more miles to the forks of the North Fork and the South Fork converge there. And they got 90 ounces. And, uh, anyway, he's uh, been on the show there at, uh, on TV. One of the fellas.